How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're looking at is a 2020 Chevy Tahoe that we built for the Bergenfield, New Jersey Fire Department. <laughs> First off, the vehicle features sound off signals, blueprint electrical system. On the front inside, we have a sound off interior light bar with the white override. In the grill, we have two sound off signal M powers with the white override. In the headlights, we have sound off signal hideaways. And then also, what we've done differently with this vehicle is we've installed a horn blasters train horn kit that's tucked up underneath the front bumper. So on the front bumper, we've installed sound off signal 4-inch M powers in tricolor. They have the white override feature. On the under mirror, we have sound off signal intersectors in single color. And then in the rear side window, we have sound off signal dual deck grill end forces. Taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we have sound off signals spoiler bracket kit with the sound off signal M powers on it. Uh, this one's a little different. This is the new three wire version where it's all done through LIN data. In the tail light, we replace the uh, reverse bulb with a white LED bulb, and then we're flashing it with the blueprint system and still giving them the reverse function and also a rear seam function. We're flashing the parking light also through the blueprint system, and this is giving them additional warning without having to drill into the tail light and void that tail light's warranty. With the hatch of the tail light open, you can see we've installed sound of signal 4-inch M powers in dual color. They're on the side for additional warning and then rearward facing. These lights only activate when the hatch is open and when the rear warning lights are active. Under the hatch, we've got two sound off signal 12 inch strip lights mounted to the hatch. These come on automatically when the hatch is closed and they also have a momentary override button for those lights. We've installed two recessed speakers with our special brackets into the headliner that still allow the speaker to be serviced without having to drop the headliner. <clears throat> on the radio faceplate, We've installed 12 volt USB along with the momentary kill we talked about before. We have a pass through that goes into the radios that allows them to move their encoder system from the front of the vehicle to the back. And then we've also installed two remote mic kits that are tied into the front radio that give them additional radios at the back now. We have a large open storage area for their gear along with their flashlight. They've got a file drawer, extinguisher storage, a large open parts drawer for them. And then we have their ratcheting magnetic command board at the bottom. And then we have another parts drawer underneath the gear storage area. Taking a look at the back of the cabinet, we've given them a shelf that they can mount some of their other equipment to it. And then they have an adjustable shelf with our track system that allows them to adjust the height of the shelf based on whatever equipment they may be carrying at the time. So in this vehicle, this customer elected to go with a Habishields console. Um, what they've done with that is they have their 12 volt outlets. We have reintegrated the factory USB into it. Uh, we've brought another port for their encoder up top here with this pass through. We've installed their radios along with the blooper controller, cup holders, a locking six inch compartment, and then they also have a binder storage here. And they have their uh, portable charger mounted to the back of the cabinet. Uh, the blueprint system controller, as you can see, is in slide three, has the park kill features tied in. And then we have our horn and manual button. And then we have additional buttons for our arrow stick, our takedown, our left alley, our right alley. Uh, we have the button to turn on our horns, which are our horn blasters, air horns. Uh, we can do the full vehicle cruise. The R cut is the rear cut for the vehicle, which shuts all the rear warning lights off. And then the last button is the green override for the command feature that's built into the vehicle.